Hi, my name is Reed Roloff, and I'm here at the SNU football facility here to talk to some athletes about their upcoming season. We have SNU wide receiver Dalton Sanders who will be entering his sixth year in the fall after completing his master's. Dalton, what are you looking forward to next year? I'm looking forward to uh, limiting penalties. That'll be a good help for our game to give us better field position in crucial times. Uh, I'm looking for better play recognition by uh, our offense as a whole, getting the call in from the sidelines and then lining up and executing it as quick as possible to help our time management and uh, crunch times. Uh, I'm also looking forward to uh, increasing our pass efficiency, running more routes, completing more passes, uh, just being more efficient with our time, our usage of the ball, and our quarterback's attributes. How does lifting translate to on-field success? Well, the stronger you get from weightlifting, the more you're able to do on the field. You're facing some pretty big guys out there, so the more you're able to move another man who is probably 215 pounds or heavier, uh, gives, gives you greater performance out there. And another thing that helps you with is lack of injury. So the more dense I am in muscle, the more I can take impact so that I abide better with collision out there. It means more time for me on the field and more options for our coaches to rotate players in and out because I'm not injured. Do you have any pregame rituals that you like to do or any pre-lifting rituals? Uh, first and foremost, you gotta stretch. You gotta prep your body for uh, a game like that or a lift like that. You don't want any injuries just because you're lazy. Something else I like to do is uh, I like to do some kind of pre-game snack, pre-workout snack. Uh, I don't know if it has to do with my insulin or just overall energy, but the more um, healthy nutrition I take in for the workout or the game seems like the better I perform. Do you have any tips for any newcomers who might want to get into the football or weightlifting industry? Uh, first thing I do is find someone who has played football before. That's a good start. You don't want to find somebody who thinks that they know what they're talking about, but they really have never played before. So number one thing is find a football player or a coach who's coached many years. Uh, it's a good help. You'd start. Uh, another thing that you might want to do is do some research on your own. If you want to get into the weightlifting, there's plenty of information out there in the world that you can get. Uh, just be careful who you trust, who you talk to, and uh, you know, just collaborate enough to try to know what you're doing when you get in.